Yeah, so to start off this little um, 308 muzzle brake project, we've got a piece of inch and a half 12L14 steel chucked up here, um, getting ready to center drill. Once we get the uh, center drill hole started, we're going to follow that with a uh, 11 32nd inch hole. And uh, since the brake's about 2.6 inches long, we'll drill that hole to 2 and 3 quarter, and that will be the center bore for the brake. So let's get started. Penetration will be two and three quarter inches. penetration okay the um, the muzzle thread is 5 8 24 so I'm gonna drill a 37 64 inch hole for the tap and we're gonna go in one inch I've got a 5 8 24 tap connected to a um, to a socket to a driver to my tailstock, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tap this hole up to the limit of this um, band of masking tape that'll that denotes the bottom of the the preview to, to the uh, large hole that we just drilled. I'm gonna do it in jog mode, lowest RPM, and. Um, We'll put a little bit of tapping fluid on there. I'm going to feed in the tailstock by hand.
Since I'm using a quick release tailstock, I'm going to have to back this tap out by hand. Otherwise, it'll just um, back out the, uh, the chuck on the tailstock. Quick release chuck, I meant to say. I'm going to turn the body of the muzzle brake down to 1.375 from 1 1.5. So I'll take a I'll take a 60 thousandths depth of cut on the first pass, and then that'll leave about five thousandths left in the total OD for cleanup. Okay, I've got 1.375 plus 6 thousandths. The final pass to remove 6 thousandths to get down to 1.375. <laughs> Okay, 1.375 OD, right on the money. Okay, I've got my compound set to 21 degrees. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this taper. I want the, the length of the taper along the brake to be 0.6 inches, and I want to be able to pretty closely meet the diameter of the of the um, muzzle at 0.925 inches so we'll start working that taper in and I'll be checking the uh, I'll be checking this diameter here and I don't want to go past 0 0.6 inches
So we've um, went ahead and, and drilled the bore, and we drilled a hole for the uh, 5H24 and tapped it. And of course, we turned it back to one diameter, 1.375, and then we uh, and we cut the taper where the brake's going to meet the barrel. Um, I've got a hard limit of 1.6 inches from the face here back to the end of the taper, and I've got a little bit bigger than 0 0.925 here, so the muzzle is going to meet. There's going to be a little lip if I don't um, if I don't take a file and, and dress it off a little bit. So I'll do that right now. And I'll try to clean up this face a little bit. It came out pretty good, but I like to smooth it with a file. I'll go ahead and part off here at um, two and three quarter inches and we'll flip it around and face it off to 2.6. Okay, I get to face off a little bit more than I planned. 220 thousandths for a, for a piece length, a total length of the piece of 2.60 inches. that little snafu I'm gonna have to take this out of the chuck and check the length and get back on scale
Next, I'm going to cut a small crown recess and then put a little put a little camphor on the exit.
Okay, so that finishes up the lathe work. We wound up at 2.604 inches in total length. It's supposed to be 2.600. Not going to worry about that. Um, of course, we added board to 11 64ths for the um, for the bullet path, and we've got it tapped for 5 8 24 TPI. And yeah, we've uh, finished off the um, the exit, the crown. I think it turned okay. So the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to check the timing. We're, we're going to have to plan the timing. So we'll go ahead and thread it on the barrel. I think that meets up pretty darn good. I'm going to get it tight. So I'm going to make a mark. Since we're gonna we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take an indexable carbide cutter, and we're gonna cut a plane here, and we're gonna cut a plane here. When we make it back up to the barrel, um, I want it to be pretty pretty close to correct, just a little bit short. Then I'll use this plate here, um, float glass plate with some sanding pa sandpaper on it to take off the last you know two or three tenths of a thousandth to get it to line up perfectly. Okay, we've got the brake on the mill. We're gonna flip, we're gonna mill off two parallel faces. Each depth is um, 125 thousandths, so 125 thousandths off each side. I'm gonna go 40 thousandths at a crack and then five thousandths for the cleanup pass. Now we're going to drill the horizontal deflection ports.
Okay, last hole. I'll be glad when this is over. Okay, we got three more gas ports to cut. So looking down the barrel, we can see the timing mark and it's exactly where we expected to leave it or where we expected to find it with the um, with the brake made up tight. So all we have to do is take about two or three ten thousandths off just by lapping it and checking it and getting it on there straight. So let's get to work. Perfect. We'll check it with a level. Within so put a level on the scope cap. 
and come down here put a level on the bubble so it could go a little bit further but we'll leave that gap for thread stretch and wear and whatnot so I'm pretty satisfied with that let's take a look at it Okay, we're going to do some hot bluing. Um, what I do is I just, I heat it up as, I get it super hot. I take it past the point where it starts to change color. Um, I've seen other instructional videos that, you know, you should stop at this point. But I've had good luck. I just get it super hot with um, with map gas, and then I, I quench it in um, just regular semi-synthetic cutting oil. And then I just dump that cutting oil back into the jug because, of course, you can reuse it. So let's see how this turns out. Be sure to clean the part in acetone to remove all the oil before you heat it up. Probably would have been a lot cheaper just to buy one off eBay, but I like doing stuff like this. All right, thanks for.